everyone. My name is Haley Greenstreet and I am a teaching artist for the Rose Theatre. I have been at the Rose since August 8th, 2016, so this is my fourth year there. And I started as a teaching artist fellow, then became a contract, and then was fortunate enough to be asked back to be a teaching artist for the two years following. So uh, I am from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I am so glad that I found the Rose Theatre because I've had such wonderful memories in all different ways, uh, in all different contexts over the past four years. However, I was chose I chose one, I was told to pick one, and the, the one that I am going to tell you about today happened this year, actually. It was uh, through The Little Engine That Could. So I was one of the actors in our first stage series in this past February and March called The Little Engine That Could, based on the book of the same title. And this memory stems specifically from a visit that we did at uh, the Boys Town Center for students who are deaf and hard of hearing. Um, it was such a wonderful day. We, uh, we being the actors and the director of the show, so that's three actors, myself, a, a person named Karina, and a person named Michael, we all went with our director Stephanie Jacobson to a classroom to essentially uh, give a whole production. We did a whole run through. Uh, not with any costumes and not with any set pieces, but we still had some props, some suitcases that we were using. And uh, there's one boy there who I have met before when I've gone to Boys Town who is nonverbal, um, so, so his vocabulary is very limited. And um, from what we've gleaned from the instructors there, sometimes uh, experiences, he's a little more slow to warm up than other students to certain experiences. And this was not one of those days. So uh, what was so amazing about this day is that as soon as this student found out that he was able to be a part of the show, since that's one of our goals with our first stage series is to make it as interactive and as inviting for young people who maybe haven't experienced theater before to, to come up and be a part of the story. So early on in that show, we, we introduced the idea of play. Uh, and the first moment is when we invite audience members to come help our conductor, Mr. Michael, Conductor Mike, sweep around the stage. And in this case, we were in the art classroom at Boys Town. Um, and so this boy was so excited to sweep and he swept with us. And then any chance he got to come up and be the really big, angry, grumpy train, the super speedy train, the fancy train, he was on it. And he was always there and always so excited to the point where in the show, I my character doesn't want to play and doesn't want to use my imagination. And he, unlike many, many young people who saw that show, they were questioning of my character or they got annoyed or frustrated with my character for not wanting to play. And this boy was so understanding. He, he played the old crabby train. And after that that scene was over and everyone was asked to sit down, he instead sat right next to me and he sat between myself and, and Karina, the other actor, and looked at me and just seemed like he was he was listening and not only listening to me as a character, but also listening to the story of the little engine that could, which which Ultimately, there is a parallel um, between who I was and the little blue engine. So not thinking that I was going to be able to do something, but ultimately my mantra became, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And um, he was there the whole time. And he knew I could. <laughs> he knew my character could do it. And he watched. And as soon as it, it clicked that I was going to be able to do something, he, he grabbed his very own prop from the audience that was that was basically like his little sitting tool. And that was his suitcase. That was going to be his train. And he helped lead us up the mountain. And we even um, afterwards, a lot of the instructors who, who work with him uh, were very thankful. And were, we got a few emails even afterwards, too, that were like, the theater is obviously his communication, like how, how he feels most involved and how he is able to get the most out of, out of an experience. And the reason why I 
am so drawn to that memory when I was asked to provide one is because I think that's exactly, I know that that is exactly what the mission of the Rose Theater is. It is to be an experience, uh, a theatrical experience that reaches not only young people but also their families and we are an inclusive space that it doesn't matter if if you have any exceptionalities, right? If you're deaf or hard of hearing, if you have any physical challenges, if you're on the autism spectrum, The Rose is truly a place where you can be yourself and you can go on these journeys with us. And I think that this particular memory is just so on par with our mission and what we hope to bring to young people and families when when they grace our presence, whether that be at the Rose Theater or in your very own classroom. Um, so yeah, that was my, my all time, at this moment, favorite memory that I can conjure up uh, from this year and uh, one of the best ones that I have had from the Rose Theater the past four years. So thank you so much for being a part of our Rose family and we can't wait to see you again when we're allowed to see you again.